Oh, don't nobody start with me this morning. I already know, man. Y'all already know the drill. It's your favorite online motivation to speak your favorite online life coach, man. Don't nobody start nothing this morning. Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. I know I was doing every other day, but baby, I tell you what, the more the more y'all ask me questions and ask me to do videos based on the questions that y'all are asking me, sweetheart, I still, I got to come back a whole nother day. I got to show up a whole nother day just so that I'll be able to answer the questions that y'all send me because that's how many questions it is on a regular basis whether it's on tiktok whether it's on instagram whether it's on facebook inside the patreon you guys always got something that y'all want to ask me and this morning i got to answer this question here because baby it wasn't just one person it was like two three of y'all had the same exact question and then a couple of y'all was talking about something that was similar to it so i said you know what let me just go ahead and do a live and this right here should put us back on course anyway good morning good morning good morning everybody say good morning after you say good morning go ahead and do me a favor if you're not following me make sure you follow me if you're not subscribed to my videos yet on tiktok tiktok y'all make sure y'all get subscribed if y'all see me looking up and down i got tiktok going over here instagram going on over here y'all know i try to do both of y'all at the same time so that i can make sure that both platforms get the same information yeah y'all know my, my job man my job is what i, I want to make sure you guys are set up for success so i like to make sure that everything is put out there the way that it need to be if you guys have not already grabbed y'all tickets to see me in atlanta georgia this saturday atlanta georgia this saturday I, if you have not grabbed your tickets i got three more tickets available on the eventbrite link i need for you to go to eventbrite i need you to get those tickets see me in person get my hugs get my my pictures all of that good stuff y'all know how we do when we go when, when i show up to the city baby you're gonna get the same version of me that you get online baby that's right you're gonna get some of this love right there in person so i need for y'all if y'all in atlanta georgia go on eventbrite and get them tickets but say good morning to me and after you do that what I need for you to do is tell me where you're viewing me from so I can shout out some of y'all's areas. How y'all doing this morning? What's up coming from the UK? I see y'all. Brooklyn, New York is here. I see Minnesota is here as well. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. How y'all doing? What up, Chicago? I see y'all. Pennsylvania is here as well. Man, y'all blessing me with, with badges already on IG. IG say, Coach, we not even gonna play with you, baby. What's going on? New York, Rochester, Los Angeles, Detroit. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Rock Hill, Mississippi, Canada. Kansas City, Florida, Connecticut. I see the gifts coming already on TikTok. I'm on Insta, yeah, on TikTok. I see the gifts coming. IG, I see the badges coming. And we ain't even got into nothing yet. Good morning, Tampa. How y'all doing in Philly? Y'all, one of the questions, we just, I'm answering the question. One of the questions that keep being asked to me over and over, right, is about boundaries. It's about boundaries. Everybody's saying, coach, I'm struggling with boundaries. I do not know how to put my boundaries out there. I'll say no about doing something, then I'll turn around after I've said no. I'll turn around and I'll go and do it. I'll say that I can't do this and can't do that. I'm not coming here, not coming there. And then I turn right back around and I go against what I've already said that I wasn't going to do so now nobody takes me seriously hello somebody yeah we're going to talk about some boundaries this morning friends say thank you oh that must have been for you okay all right i see y'all <laughs> i see y'all in the comments y'all like coach that's me mm -hmm. Y'all know the drill. When I say something and you know that that's you, say ouch and send a badge. Over on TikTok, y'all say ouch and send a gift. One of the things that you got to understand, and if you've been following me for a while, you guys may already know this because I've taught it inside the Patreon. One of the things about boundaries is this right here. First and foremost, you got to understand that your boundaries have got to come with consequences. So if you have your ink pens out, I need you to make sure that you're taking you some notes real quick. Your boundaries have got to have some consequences. You cannot just say, oh yeah, well I got some boundaries in my life and I'm not going to let people talk to me no any kind of way. I'm not going to let people treat me no any kind of way. I'm not going to let nobody in and out my life. I'm not going to let this happen and that happen. And then when it happened, you turn right back around and do what? Accept that negative behavior. Accept that toxic behavior. In that moment, you're showing them that you're absolutely right. You don't have boundaries. What you have is idle threats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get your phone, baby. Yeah, yeah. I see the badges coming. Thank y'all. I see y'all. Yeah, yeah. Say out your send the gift TikTok. You might as well go. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's that's a fact. Oh, y'all showing y'all showing mad love on IG. That much. Y'all. This is where the question came from. So I see why I'm getting love over here. This is where the question came from. Yeah, you 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 gotta understand. Yeah, you always over there telling somebody. Mm -hmm. 
You always over there telling somebody what you ain't going to accept. Always telling somebody what you ain't going to put up with. Always telling somebody, oh, you ain't going to talk to me like this. You ain't going to do this and you ain't going to do that. But as soon as they do everything that you said that they're not going to do, what do you do? You accept that negative behavior. You accept what it is that they're saying and what it is that they're doing. You allow them to stay right there in your face after they've already disrespected you. You allow them to stay right there in your house, in your house. Yeah, 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 let's
Don't mind, let me go back some. The thing about it is you got to understand that when you're establishing boundaries in your life, you got to get ready, get prepared to lose some people that you love. You got to be prepared to walk away from some relationships that you thought would last forever. You got to get prepared to lose that A1 since day one. You got to be prepared to also lose that person that you go to Saturday's brunch and turn up with. Your boundaries will annoy people when they see that they can no longer play with you. Come on, man. I don't even know why I let people ask me questions because I know I I be I turn it into a whole live video. Soon as I, yeah, yeah 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 you gotta yeah come on now yeah come on now friends you got you gotta understand that your boundaries is gonna upset some folk when they realize that they can no longer play with you when it get when it comes to the realization that you establishing these boundaries in your life means that now you I can't talk to you like how I used to talk to you I can't show up every now and again no more I can't call you every now and again again because now that you have boundaries and you're working on yourself by yourself for yourself you're seeing things a whole lot clearer now you're seeing that I have no real contribution to your life now you're seeing that you are more of a friend to me than I've ever been to you that you are more of a family member to me than I've ever been to you that you've always been that loyal employee that's always showing up before everybody leaving out the everybody doing the jobs that nobody else wants to do and when you step back and step away, you will start to see how folk use and abuse and take advantage of you on every hand. Yeah, that's why they that's why they fear your boundaries, baby. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they upset with your boundaries. That's why they upset with your boundary. That's why they get pissed off when you start talking boundary talk. That's why, you know what I mean? So when y'all ask me that question about boundaries, now I'm I'm just letting you know that this is the reason why your friends are walking away. This is the reason why your lover is so upset with you. This is the reason why people are feeling the way that they feel because they already understand the power of boundaries. They know that once you get to that place where you have the those boundaries in state that that that, yeah, that that puppet master thing and them being able to tell you what to do how to do it how to feel how to move they know that that right there is out the window now she's not listening to other folk now she's not being yeah 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 now she's not following the plan that we had out here i used to be able to come to you about anything now you will let me know not today baby i got my own stuff to deal with <laughs> yeah come on man come on yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all know them, y'all know them friends. Y'all know them friends. They want to run to you every single time that they got an issue. They can find you every time something go wrong in their life. You the first person they call. Anytime that thing don't have pan out the way that they wanted to pan out, you the person on speed dial. When they can't pay their bill, you the person on speed dial. When they need somebody to show up for them, you're the person on speed dial. But the moment that they got something that they're celebrating, the moment that something good is happening, when they got all their ducks in a row, when everything is moving how they want them to move then guess what you don't hear nothing from them they don't call they don't text they don't inbox they don't send no sos message none of that baby you gotta understand that when i say work on yourself by yourself for yourself put some space some distance between you and folk it's two things that you're going to learn you're going to learn who's for you and who's using you yeah, 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 yeah. Just because they clapping in your face don't mean that they clapping behind your back. Just because they smiling and grinning up in your face don't mean that they smiling and grinning when you walk away. Understand that, yeah, some folk are only holding on to you right now and in your life right now because you're operating without boundaries. Because you struggle with this thing of saying no. You can't say no. The moment that you say no, you turn around and say yes. You say you ain't coming, then you go and make a way to come. You say you ain't gonna do it, then you sit over there and have that conversation inside your mind of where well, it ain't no real reason why I can't do it no my no is just no and I don't have no feelings of regret or guilt about it and even if I'm gonna sit at home and just watch TV the answer still no I'm not forcing myself up out of my bed I'm not about to do it understand that for nobody baby if I say that I'm gonna rest today then I'm resting if I say I'm not coming out the door, the door today then I'm not coming out the door today if I say I'm practicing good self-care today then that's exactly what I'm doing I'm not altering my schedule I'm not altering my life for not a soul I am done sacrificing myself for other people. I'm done bending over backwards for other people. I'm done walking on coal for other people. I'm done jumping through fire rings for other people. I'm done showing up for folk that don't show up for me. I'm done pouring into people that don't pour into me. At this place of my life, I am being selfful. 
Yeah, very much so, baby. But I told y'all that in November. November, I said, oh, baby, I'm going in a season of selfishness, baby. That's right. I'm focusing on myself. I'm keeping my eyes on my own paper. I'm not even going to be one of those people. Why? Because I've done that for so for so long already that people get comfortable. They get comfortable with being that, that knowing that you will come through. They get comfortable with knowing that you will provide. They get comfortable with this type of thing, and they do it all the time. And the reason why they get upset with your boundaries, I'm going to say it one more time. Is because once you start living a life Then operating with boundaries They already know that they can't play with you How they play with other folk That they can't treat you the way that they treat other folk That they, yeah, yeah, yeah You gotta understand that's, yeah, that's, that's what the problem is right there That's why they mad You sitting over there trying to find fault in yourself You sitting over there trying to figure out Well, what did I do to make them so mad And why y'all don't wanna call me Why y'all don't text me Why y'all don't invite me Why y'all don't come and see if I wanna be a part The reason why they won't do that, baby is because they can no longer use you. They can't use you no more, honey. Yeah, when I when yeah, yeah, people get offended when they can't when they can't use you. And when you start doing stuff like that, they want to call you mean. Hello, somebody. If you've been on my timeline right now, if you on here and you know for a fact folk call you mean, go ahead and send me some love. Send me a badge if you've been guilty of that. If, the, if, if, if now that you're establishing boundaries in your life, you've been called mean. I see the oh my god, and I see how far you just stressed it out. Send me a gift if that's you. Say ouch coach and send a gift. Say ouch coach and send a badge. If they've already labeled you as mean. Oh, Oh, baby, you're a mean baby. You hard to deal with, baby. You require too much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, double tap on the screen because I know it ain't just me. Oh, yeah, baby, get ready, though, because they're going to call you mean when they see they can no longer play with you like they play with everybody else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You mean, you mean, baby. You mean, baby. When you when, when they can't play with you like they play with everybody else, oh, you get labeled as mean. When they can't talk to you crazy how they talk to other folk, oh, they label you mean. When they can't walk you like a dog like how they walk other folk, then they call you mean. See, anybody is mean when you stand up for yourself. You're called mean when you have a voice and you utilize it. You're mean when you have boundaries and you let people know that your boundaries come with consequences. Then you're labeled as mean. Yeah. And that's only because people are used to that. They used to dealing with folk. They used to dealing with folk that don't care. It is what it is, and I'm just gonna keep on going. It is what it is. No, baby, it is what it ain't. You ain't finna talk to me no any kind of way. You're not finna disrespect me. You're not finna walk me like no dog. I'ma tell you that right now. The moment that I see that the person that you represent that you pre um, presented to me is not the person that you are, then it's two fingers swinging. The moment that I see that you're inconsistent and that you only show up when it when you wanna show up how you want to show up then guess what then that snip snip baby two finger swinging that's it for me that's right if you can't reciprocate the energy and you can't be the person to me that i am to you then i have no problem at all with detaching myself matter of fact i like to tell folk all the time my detachment is top tier i'm not mad at you i'm not angry with you ain't no beef with you at all my boundary ain't got nothing to do with a beef i just see where we're not on the same page in life when i see you hey how you doing and i'm gonna wish you well and mean that with everything that's in me but just because we are no longer in each other's faces does not mean that we got beef don't mean that we got drama just means that we are in two totally different walks of life what I'm trying to do and what you trying to do is two totally different things where I'm trying to go and where you trying to go is two totally different things stop thinking that boundary is a beef but people that think that your boundaries are a beef is people that realize that they will no longer be able to treat you the way that they used to treat you and some folk are going to treat some folk are going to struggle with treating you with the new self. Yeah, that, yeah, some people, some people, yeah. I know some of y'all might have missed it, but some of y'all not. Mm -mm. Yeah, some people, some people, <laughs> yeah, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to my lives on TikTok, make sure you do so. Yeah, 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 some people going to struggle with your new self. They going to, they, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get into that because I know it's some people on here, especially some, it's some coaches, it's some life coaches on here that's like, wait a minute, dig into that real quick. It's going to be a dig into that. I'm coming, y'all. Don't, don't, don't even worry about it. Yeah, you got to understand, see, I'm talking about boundaries today and why folk get upset with you about having boundaries and why it's important for you to have them and why you I want you to stop whining and crying about the people that you losing because you establishing boundaries in your life because it's really not a loss you looking at it like it's a loss you thinking that you losing friends you think that you losing family members you thinking that you're losing out when the truth of the matter is you're really not losing anything you're gaining what you mean by that coach and I, I yeah, yeah yeah wait a minute I'm coming back for my coaches but I want to go to my church folk real quick the thing about it is you're thinking that you're losing out you're thinking that you're missing out you're thinking that they 
all these people are leaving and I don't have this and I don't have that and I'm not going to have nobody to talk to and I'm not going to do this and that but the truth of the matter is right now come on church folk get ready with my lady get my dancing lady ready go ahead and find it in your emojis get my dancing lady right the thing about it is in that moment what you're doing is you're making room <laughs> you're making room what you're making room for baby my blessing baby i gotta i i, I gotta make some room my church folk y'all know what we talking about i gotta make some room see in order for me to get something new i gotta flush out this old in order for me to get something new i gotta flush out this old see i can't yeah my new friends ain't gonna be comfortable with this type of disrespect my new friends that's coming you gotta understand these are not gonna be people that i gotta beg to support me these are not gonna be people that i gotta beg to reciprocate energy these are not gonna be people that I got to run down and I got to text first and that I got to email first all the time and that I got to be the person to always show up when you start making room for your blessing when you start making room for the people that's supposed to be there then baby you ain't got to do no running you ain't got to do no calling you ain't got to do no texting all you got to do is sit back and relax and attract <laughs> Woo! Sit back, relax, and attract. You're thinking that you're losing, and you're really not losing. You're not losing friends. You're not losing family members. What you're doing in that moment is what I am making room for my blessing. I'm making room for the folk that are supposed to be here. But the thing is, you start losing time, and you start losing patience because you start focusing on the people that's walking out. You start focusing on the people that's leaving and the thing about it is I sometimes be thinking like how long you gonna cry about that yeah I just you know yeah yeah I can't think of the exact scripture it was but I remember in there he said how long are you gonna cry about what I've already cut loose from your life like you're crying about a situation that I don't even want you to be a part of you're crying about a situation or a person that I already removed from your life and I removed them because I knew that they were no good for you I knew for a fact that I knew the conversations that you didn't know about I knew the plotting and the planning and the ditch digging that they had in store for you and you're crying about what I've already moved out of your life. You're crying about people that I removed because I knew for a fact that they weren't beneficial to you and your life. And you're so focused on what it is that I took away that you don't even see that what I'm doing is replacing it with better. You don't even see that. And the people that I'm bringing around you, the people that I'm doing this and this and that for right now that is coming in your way. These people are the people that you need need in order for you to get accomplished the mission that we got at hand at one point or another you gotta realize this right here sometimes you are praying that God fix the situation when the situation ain't the thing that really needs to fix it it's you and your thinking yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, sometimes you praying that God fix the situation, but the situation ain't what needs fixing, it's, it's you and your thinking, baby, yeah, you, it's, it, yeah, yeah, sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> send me some love, y'all, send me some love, double tap on my screen, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't the situation that needs fixing, if the situation is already then been what the situation is gonna be, we need to go ahead and exit left with that, the situation is already what the situation is gonna be, but you so focused on that closed door, you're so focused on those friends that have left, you're so focused on all of these things that you don't realize that you're in a better position So right now you're looking at it, at it as oh yeah this right here I can't believe that this happened I can't believe this and I can't believe that when the truth of the matter is it's just making room So once you put distance in between you and people and things that are not beneficial to your growth Then you will be able to have a clear view of what's going on in your life Because most of the time the reason why you don't let it go is because you're caught up in your emotions you're caught up in the way that you feel. You're caught up in the love that you have. You're caught up in all of these feelings. But the truth of the matter is you got to understand that sometimes loving a person, it means you have to let them go. 
Yeah, that's that's the one right there. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta you yeah yeah. Sometimes you gotta love them enough to let them go. You gotta love them enough to to cut ties with them. You gotta love love them enough to say you know what this ain't good for me because it's okay for you to love them, but you gotta love you more. It's okay for you to want to be there for them, but you gotta make you make sure that you are your own priorities. People get uh, insulted by your boundaries because they know the impact that it's gonna have on their life. It ain't that you got something wrong with you. It's not that you're acting different or you're acting and funny people are naturally uh, offended by your boundaries when they know that the way that they've treated you in the past they will no longer be able to treat you that particular way and that's me answering your question the reason why they're upset with you friends and family members is because they know the change that it's going to bring to their life so there's nothing wrong with you stop looking for fault in yourself and understand that the more people that walk away the more people that cut ties with you that it's okay the only thing that's happening in that moment is you're making room for the people that are supposed to be there so sweetie instead of you guys uh panicking and thinking that you're gonna be alone and you're gonna be by yourself and i ain't gonna have this and i ain't gonna have that understand that you need to relax and attract sometimes you working on yourself is going to require you to be alone Sometimes working on yourself and your development is going to require nobody else's opinions, nobody else's thoughts. It's just you and God. And that's okay. It's okay. You have got to learn how to be alone, but not lonely. You got to learn how to be your own good company. And that's okay. And a lot of times the problem is we don't even know who we are because we're so focused on being what everybody else want us to be. We don't even know what we like because we've been so busy focusing on doing what everybody else like. We don't even know what our own favorite color is anymore because we've been catering and giving and showing up for and providing for everybody else that if we start removing titles and taking out other people then we start standing in the mirror and not really understanding or seeing who we are ourselves and that's what we really afraid of if I cut ties with them who am I if I walk away from this job who am I if I let go of that title then who am I and that's what you are running from and what I came to tell you is number one you got to stop being afraid of your own potential you got to stop being afraid of your own success you got to Stop being afraid of the person that you're called to be because you running from it ain't going to change it. Yeah. I ain't giving nobody here. Yeah, you running from it. You running from it ain't going to change it, baby. You moping and crying about it ain't going to change it. One thing's for sure, two things for certain is that your move does not manipulate God. When he removes something, it's removed. When he's done with something, he's done with it. When that bridge has already been out burnt, it's already burnt, baby. Ain't nobody struggling with that but you. At one point or another, you're going to have to suck it up. You're going to have to stand on your feet. You're going to have to dust yourself off and wipe those tears away from your eyes and say, okay, well, what's next? What is that I'm supposed to be doing now what's the lesson inside this struggle because like I told y'all yesterday you got to understand most of y'all been trying to run from the wilderness don't want to be in the wilderness don't want no parts of the wilderness not understanding that that wilderness is your place of transition oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah that's your place place of transitioning right there everything that you need to know about life is going to be in that wilderness it's going to be in that dark hour it's going to be in that time when your back is against the wall it's going to be in that time when you're stuck in between a rock and a hard place you will see exactly what's inside of a person when they're being tested when they're being tried when they, when there's pressure being added to that individual it's okay for them to love you when nothing is going on it's okay for them to be there and you to be their favorite person when there's nothing happening in that life but you see who a person really is like I said when the money start running low when times get a little bit harder when you can't do what they normally do and now you're requiring too much at one point or another you got to understand that you cannot ask to be delivered from the wilderness take it under or around it or over it what, let me go through what i gotta throw go through Anybody that's ever taken life coaching from me, y'all know I tell you this all the time. Go through every single thing that you got to go through. Go through the emotions. Feel what you got to feel. Don't don't try to fake it because faking won't make you better. Faking will not fix you. Go through what you got to go through, baby. And after you feel everything that you're going to feel in that moment, you make it, you make it a, a commitment with yourself that when I get up from here, baby, that's it. I'm not crying over this over no more. I'm not stressing over this no more. I'm not losing no more sleep over this. This right here, when I get up from here, oh, baby, that's going to be the end of 
that and my mentality is what what's next what's next if you already going to end that door close that door if you're going to end that situation if you're moving me away from this right here then what's next for me develop that what's next type of mentality because i'm gonna tell you right now the more that you utilize your boundaries the more that you let folk know that they can't play with you the more that you tell people right there in their face hey look my boundaries come with consequences and the disrespect is going to always be the closure when you say that and you mean that and you as you enforce that and when people cross those boundaries you walk away from them then guess what you're teaching them in that moment that i'm not one of those folk you cannot play with me this is not going to be something that i'm going to tolerate in my life if you disrespect me then i'm gone i am one and i'm done i'm not giving you multiple chances to hurt me i'm not giving you multiple chances to disrespect me i'm not giving you multiple chances to drag me through the mud i'm not doing that you will not paint me a thousand different pictures in this season why do you say that coach because you are who you showed me that you were that's it that's all and i told y'all before i'm not doing no more benefits of the doubt I'm all I'm all benefit of the doubted out, baby. That's right. I, I'm not accepting no apologies from no grown the grown adult folk that already knew what they was doing was wrong. You knew what you was doing and you did it anyway. You knew the impact it was gonna have and you did it anyway. You didn't care, so guess what? Don't care about packing your stuff and getting up out my life. That, that's exactly how I move. Want me to tell you why? Because when as you continue to work on yourself and then establishing your boundaries, you're gonna develop an exterior about yourself that's gonna surround you, that's going to teach you that you are all that that you really need it's okay to have friends it's okay to have lovers it's okay to have people in your life that you enjoy spending time with but people wake up different every single day people wake up and they have a change of mind or a change of heart every single day and when they have that change of mind or that change of heart that cannot deter you that can't take you out of your alignment that cannot distract you that cannot cause you to lose focus you need to be focused on your development every single day you have to wake up up every single day and choose to be your best friend choose to be the person that loves you no matter what choose to be the person that's willing to show up and do whatever is necessary to protect your peace your sanity and guarding your focus is all your responsibility so even though I love you I can still let you go even though I love you I can still walk away even though I love you I can still cut ties because I'm only dealing with people that are beneficial to me I'm only staying connected to people that are beneficial to me I'm only pouring into people that are able to reciprocate that energy why because I, I yeah 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 because I can't afford to pour into anything that's not pouring back hello somebody so if that means that I'm a user then call me that if that means that I'm a gold digger then call me that if that means that I'm mean because I have boundaries then call me that stop wasting your time trying to defend yourself to people that are only upset with you because you are not allowing them to treat Treat you poorly. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a waste of time, baby. And not only that, it ain't nothing that you're gonna be able to say or do in that situation anyway, because they are already committed to making you wrong. Anything that you say or do, they gonna find something negative in it. No matter how much you point out, this is what it is. This is what you said. This is how you done. A master manipulator will sit there and have a whole entire conversation with you, and they will twist and turn every single word that you said to them to still make you the bad guy. And that's the reason why I tell y'all to stop having those pointless conversations i'm not finna sit over there and talk to my tongue hurt to an individual that are already committed to making me the villain in their story no matter what i say to you no matter how much i do this this and this you're gonna still find a way around it so with that being said i'm not your hamster on the treadmill i'm not your dog chasing this tail it is exactly what it is and i'm walking slam off i don't owe nobody no closure i don't owe nobody no next time conversation i don't have to sit down and look at you eyeball to eyeball it is what it is. What was the, di yeah, the disrespect was all the closure that I needed. The fact that you disrespected my boundaries is all that I needed. The fact that you continue to try to talk to me like I'm less than, try to make me feel as though I'm not good enough, then guess what? Yeah, 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 that was all the closure that I needed. And when you start holding people accountable for the things that they say and the way that they move in your life, then you will start to see that a lot of folk around you that you're not even talking to, you're going to start to see them adjust themselves. Mm -hmm. They gonna start adjusting themselves too.
You ain't even talking to them, but they're going to start adjusting themselves too. Why? Because in that moment, they're going to see the way that you handle that situation. And in that moment, they're going to know, baby, you better tighten up and fly right because she ain't got no respect a person, honey. She cut off anybody. She walk away from anybody. She cut ties with anybody and she don't care nothing about the relationship. You teach people how to treat you by how you treat you, by the things that you tolerate in your own life. You ain't got to go have no separate conversations with everybody. You ain't got to make a thousand posts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. You ain't got to go outside your way and paint yourself as this person that's bigger than everybody, more important than everybody, got more things going on than everybody. That's not what's needed. All you got to do is change the way that you handle yourself, change the way that you tolerate certain things that take place in your life. You ain't got to have no conference call about it. Folk are watching you whether they like the post or not, whether they share the post or not. They are watching every single thing that you do and when you walk away from people simply because of the disrespect They see that as well Period point blank. They see that baby. Yeah, she ain't putting up with that Yeah, she ain't putting up with that So ain't no need you going over there bothering that young lady that young lady standards different Ain't no need you to inbox and her sweetheart if you ain't got your stuff together Don't talk to her cuz I'm gonna tell you right now the answer gonna be no She ain't one of those you might have been able to play with some folk over there But she ain't to be played with baby You gonna have to go play where it's safe and it ain't safe to play with that one right there If you want somebody that you can walk like a dog She won't be it if you want somebody that you can in and out their life and pick them up and put them down whenever they get whenever you get ready she won't be one of those i've seen her walk away from folk that was the best what people would call the best of the best i've seen her walk away with folk that got such and such income drive such and such type of car that such and such type of success level she ain't impressed by none of that and that's how the type of mentality that you gotta have i don't care what you got my peace means more that's priceless baby i got something that money came by i'm not finna let you do it to me you might be able to do it with them then you ain't gonna be able to do it with me and that's just what it's going to be. And that's how you have to operate. You have to show people how to treat you by the way that you treat yourself. How you stand up for yourself. How you speak up for yourself. How you enforce your boundaries. So the time that you're wasting right now is that the fact that you're sitting there trying to explain yourself to somebody that's already committed to making you wrong. That's number one. The other thing where you're going wrong at is because you're now questioning your own boundaries because it's upsetting people that's around you when they get upset by your boundaries they're just exposing themselves to you understand when they get upset by your boundaries they are exposing themselves to you so when you're thinking that you're missing out or that you're losing people you're not losing anybody what's happening in that moment is you're making room for your next blessing you're making room for the people that were supposed to be there so it's all about the way that you think change the narrative stop looking for the negative in it and understand that it's okay for you to work on yourself by yourself for yourself they ain't got to be with you for you to work on you and baby we ain't in the season of running out the folk no way baby i told y'all that a couple of weeks ago baby i'm in the season of attracting i'm attracting everything and everything that i need and that i want i'm attracted and it's coming to me anybody that's supposed to be with me is coming to me that i ain't got to run down nobody and i'm and i'm keeping my eyes on my own paper i'm focusing on my own development what somebody else got going on in their life how successful they are how much money they got what type of car they drive what trips that they're taking what they got they ain't got nothing to do with me baby understand that i'm i'm, I'm trusting my own process i'm focusing Focusing on my own paper. I'm making sure that I'm staying in the wheel. I'm staying in alignment. I'm protecting my peace. And what's going to be for me is going to be for me. Because like I told you guys before. Everybody's journey is customized. It doesn't matter who do it before me. They ain't going to do it like me. It doesn't matter how this and that happened over there. That still that ain't got nothing to do with me. My journey is customized. It's just for me. And I'm not the individual that want everything. I don't want everything. I just want what's mine. I'm not greedy and I'm not thirsty. I'm not running after anything and everybody. No, that's that's not me. Mm -mm. Don't need to be attached to everybody in their platform. That ain't me. Don't need to rub elbows with everybody and concerned about what rooms that I'm not invited to. That's not me. Understand that anything that got my name on it is coming to me. That And that's the mentality that you have to have. Well, I'm not running after nothing or nobody. I'm attracting every single thing that I need in order for me to be able to accomplish what I need to accomplish. And that's how you have to be every single day of your life. So with that being said, I hope I answered your question about boundaries. Your boundaries will end 
in fact, uh, it's, it's going to offend some folk because they already know that they ain't going to be able to, they ain't going to be able to do the stuff that they done. So it's not that, you know, you're looking for a problem, a problem with you, an issue with you. And there's no problem with you. There's no issue with you. The problem is they can't handle this new version of you. Okay. Mm hmm. So yeah, let them folks go. Let, let them go. Either the boo-boo, the bun-bun, whoever it is, you got to let them folks go. You got to let them go and be. And one of the other things that I wanted to say, and I'm done with the live, but I just want to say this real quick if you guys don't mind. Double tap on my screen. I see y'all at 332K. Double tap on the screen real quick. Uh, you guys, y'all been showing out. Y'all almost got y'all 40 badges, and this wasn't even a long live. Y'all almost, I think y'all was at like 35. You know what I mean? Y'all need five more badges over here, and y'all just struck y'all goal already, and this was just on a Q&A. So I appreciate that. Number one, I want to say this right here to y'all. You got to understand too that some people will not be able to accept the new version of you some people don't want you know what i mean because they look at where you came from they look at you know the fact that you started out with less than them they look at the fact that you didn't have that type of support they look at the fact that you know what i mean how how could it be you when you've always been the person that has been less than the person that has been the lesser of how in the world can you come back and you do the things that you're doing and start making these type of demands when you come from this type of walk of life they start to look at you and they can't accept the new version of you they can't process this new version of you they can't stomach this new version of you this new version of you it irritates their being because they got that why you not me type of mentality so you're thinking why can't you support me why can't you be there for me why can't you do I just said the same thing that they said but you can accept it from them but you can't accept it from me I was trying to do the same thing that they were doing and you see what it is that I'm doing and we grew up together we didn't took baths together we didn't played in the sandbox together but you would rather give it to them and not give it to me you would rather support them and not support me you would rather listen to what they got to say instead of listen to me and you can accept everything that they're saying even though they're saying the same exact thing that I'm saying the truth of the matter is some of these people will not be able to accept the new version of you the up now I can't even say the new ver the, the new version of you because it's not an upgraded this is a new version because you didn't let that old person go they can't accept this new version of you because they're still trying to process why you you not me why 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 yeah why why you not me and they can't understand that and that's the reason why most of the time your support comes from outside people that's the reason why it's always the people that don't know you that's going to come in and do for you first. They're going to come in and support and pour into you first. They're going to make sure that you're straight first because the people that know you, that have been around you, that have grew up with you, they have a certain level of, wait a minute, hold on, you doing some stuff that I ain't think that we could do in our community. You came from a broken family. You came from this. You came from that. What you mean? No, I, I, girl, I don't fool with them folk. They won't jump on until they see everybody else is there. They won't support until they see everybody else supporting. They won't do until they see everybody else is doing. And that's the reason why you can't get caught up in that. That's the reason why you can't allow that to rob your focus. That's the reason why it's important for you to have that exterior of, I'm going to do for me, even if it's just me. I'm going to show up for me, even if it's just me. I'm going to take care of me, even if it's just me. Oh yeah, baby. So, yeah, you're right. Sometimes they do be your parents. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it be your parents, sometimes it be your sisters and your brothers, your cousins, sometimes it be your best friends. Yeah, people who have tried, and sometimes it be people who have been around you that have already tried to do what you're doing, and they automatically make the assumption that it won't work for you because it didn't work for them. That it won't pan out that way for you because it never panned out that way for them. That you know, we didn't try that a million different times, and that right there, that has never worked, so ain't no need in you trying to go over there and do it. We tried to do that 10 years ago, and it didn't work so why would you go over there and do it and they will try to talk you out of doing what you want to do they will go over there and pour their fears pour their insecurities and get this right here not just their fears and their insecurities they will also dump their failures on you as well and say that we tried it and it failed we did that and it failed we went over there and it failed so we're telling you now don't go waste your time don't go do this don't go do that because it failed but the truth of the matter is just because 
because it failed for them does not mean that it's going to fail for you. Just because they could not get it done don't mean that you won't be able to get it done. The truth of the matter is some things that you're doing are only going to be just for you. That wasn't their mission. That wasn't something that wasn't their battle. That wasn't their struggle. That wasn't for them, but it's for you. So when you go over there and do it, you only put half of what they put half in and look how it works. Look how it take off. Look how it pan out. Now everybody looking at you like, wait a minute, what did you do differently? Trusted myself. Didn't listen to other folk. Stayed focused. Prayed. Fasted. Showed up. Did the work. Just because something won't happen for other folk don't mean that it won't happen for you. You got to stop consuming what's not surfacing you. You and I, we're two totally different people. We're going to do things two totally different ways. Our journeys, our missions are all customized. It's designed strictly for me. What you enjoy might not be me. For me, what you like doing might not be what I like doing. And that's okay. Not saying that one is wrong and the other is right. But to say you can't look at what somebody else is doing in their life and base what you're going to do and how it's going to pan out for you based on what they done over there. Come on now, no. But... Oh, baby, yeah, it's definitely customized. Listen, but I'm going to get up out of here. I just wanted to answer that question on boundaries. And the question that she had was, why are so many people around her being so offended by her boundaries? Why is everybody making it seem as though she's the bad guy for having boundaries? Why is, you know, she's losing friends, losing family members? And whatnot, and people are uh, behaving a certain type of way based on the fact that she's no longer, you know, the person that she used to be. And the thing about it is, you owe it to yourself to change who you are. You know, if if you if it's not working for you, if it's not beneficial to you, if it's not giving what it's supposed to have gave, you owe it to yourself to detach. You owe it to yourself to do what's best for you, even if. Even if it makes some other people mad, even if it puts some people in their feelings in their bag, you owe it to yourself to be your best self. And if you don't do it for anybody else, you got to do it for you. Her question was, what am I supposed to do about it? And I just gave you the answer to that. You are supposed to keep on keeping on. You got to understand that people will get offended by you working on yourself because they know the impact that it's going to have on them. They get offended by your boundaries because they know the impact that it's going to have on them stop focusing on who's leaving and just let them leave because in that moment the only thing that's happening is you're, you're making room for your next blessing all right guys i'm gonna get up out of here I want to tell you guys every single day that you wake up, you put 10 toes to the ground. Switch yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are, how much you love you, because there's no love like self-love. And you got to love yourself way before you're able to love anybody else. Thank you guys so much, man, for every single person that blessed me with a badge, that blessed me with a gift, that shared the video, that invited their friends and whatnot alone to watch this video this morning. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, if you're in Atlanta, like I said, if you're in Atlanta, make sure you pull up and see me this Saturday. I will be speaking in Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia, and I definitely have a message for you guys. So I got three tickets left on that Eventbrite. I want you guys to go and grab them real quick up off the Eventbrite, and we will be completely sold out. And y'all know that's what I love, man. So yes, Eventbrite, if you're in Atlanta, let's let's link up this Saturday. I love you guys so much. Um, let me see what we had on the badges over here. I think that you guys reached that goal. Double tap, double tap on the screen. Have you have a good day as well? Double tap on that screen, y'all at uh 407k. You know what I'm saying? Now, but this right here, this wasn't our regular live. This was me doing the q and I had some questions that people were asking me about boundaries and how people get offended by it. So I wanted to drop that out there for them. You guys enjoy the rest of y'all day. I love you. What's going on, man? Y'all know.
Oh, okay. They reached their goal. They got they they had 53 badges, so they did good. Uh, yeah, y'all know we got to double tap on the screen, man. We got to get up to 500k. We don't exit the live until we get our 500k on those likes, man. Um, but yes, I just wanted to make sure that I came on and I told you guys about everything that we had going on, man. You know, on Wednesdays I'm gonna start trying to do the Q&A and let you guys ask me some questions, and I'll come back and I'll answer what you guys need. But on Monday and Friday, you guys will get y'all regular live videos. If you guys have not subscribed to my Patreon as of this moment make sure you do so the link is right there in the bio if you have not subscribed to my live videos on tiktok make sure you do that as well i appreciate all the love and the support that i get from you guys man yes hold up boom I read this one, but I'm back rereading re it all over again. It's definitely one of the ones that I liked. I just seen somebody in the comment ask me about a book. I am rereading this one right here. This is one of the books that I actually really, really, really and truly enjoyed. So if you wanted a book recommendation, here you go, right there. Boom. Look how look look. I'm telling you. Look how look how it just happened. Ba -da 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 -da. Boom boom. Hey, double tap on that screen. We have 441. Um I, I want one too, love. There you go. Turn around. Thank you so much, man. I love you guys so much and i just want to tell you guys enjoy the rest of y'all day but i gotta wait till y'all get to this 500 man double tap on that screen <laughs> she's uh, um almost finished oh really that it, i like that one i like that one it was really a good one saying my fingers are done for it. <laughs> she says what are healthy boundaries to set I think that um, one of the, one of the healthiest boundaries that I can um, that I think that I pride myself on is me actually knowing what's for me and what's not. You know, I think that a lot of times um, in my younger years, especially before I, you know I started realizing, you know, what I'm saying becoming more self aware. I used to take on everybody's stuff. So if something was going on in a person's life, if they were struggling with something or whatnot, I would automatically like just take on their pain, and I can go from having a really really good day to now. Now I'm having a sluggish day. I'm sad and I'm depressed because they're sad and they're depressed. So if you're asking me what, what are mine, I would honestly say that me learning how to separate who what's for me and what's not and learning how to, you know, show love to a person and be concerned with a person without me taking on their stuff was one of the healthiest boundaries that I've ever set for myself. Can you see the name of the book again? Yes. Mm hmm. Well, uh, you rock always. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Laura. I appreciate that. Says, um, what's the word? The word for the uh, what's the word for the day? The words for the day is utilize your boundaries. Utilize your boundaries. Enforce your boundaries on a regular basis. Why are you in your car? Because I just left the gym, and this is where I always do my videos. And apparently, you brand new to the live. So yes, my lives are always in the car. Um, says, uh, what, what did friends say? Says, you are always see me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Says, Ho um, how do you hold someone accountable without stopping, without stooping to their level? Oh, baby, that's easy. You hold people accountable by when... <clears throat> without stooping to their level you do that by when you see already that they're trying to they're fishing for a reaction from you or they want you to get down on that level by simply resisting you don't have to engage in that conversation if you know for a fact that it's not going to go anywhere if you know for a fact that it's going to be like in circles all you can do is disengage that's it just simply walk away you don't have to respond to the text you don't have to respond to the phone call you don't have to respond to the email it's all about self-discipline when you already know that it's not going to be good for you and you already know that the, the, it's going to strike a, a conversation that's going to go on all day long that it's going to ruin your mood ruin your peace ruin your day then you make that decision within yourself and that's a boundary that i'm not ruining my day i said that i'm gonna have a good day i say that this is what i'm going to do and that's what's going to happen me interacting with you and knowing that this is what you want to do and this is the energy that you're carrying i don't want no parts so you disengage thank you so much Thank you. Yes, I do do. Uh, yes, I do do one on ones. The link is in my bio. If you need a one on one session, I do do it. It's in my um, bio. Um, uh, can you in the near future about finances and building your business? My first time yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. No, I do not do live videos based on finances and building businesses. That's not my specialties. Um, I am a life coach and motivational speaker. So what I do is I teach people how to rebuild themselves, how to create 
create a better version of themselves how to move forward from trauma um, as far as finances and telling people how to make billions and millions of dollars that's not my forte I can teach you how to become spiritually rich that's what I work on that's what I work on mental health and so yeah I don't, I don't know what uh, coach that would be but I'm pretty sure you might be able to find one on Instagram she says, uh, what is the live subscription? That's what's on um, TikTok. And basically what it is, is that you're investing in the speaker. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, be, it's probably the best way to say it. It says, um, says um, I appreciate I'm sorry, y'all. I says, okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem at all. You enjoy your day, sweetie. Um, that's why I cut my sister loose. She's pure negative. Baby, sometimes you have to do that, though. Sometimes you have to, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You have to walk away from people and, you know what I'm saying, like really distance yourself from people when you see for a fact that, you know, that's how they want to live their life. Some people are just in, just negative, just negative for absolutely no reason at all. And, and I'm the same way. You know, if I know that you're a negative, you know, and I know that you're always complaining about something, just complaining about life, never having a good day, it's always something with you, I tend to stay away from them, too. I can't even lie. I move right on away from you. I, I I can't do it because I don't want that around me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that around me. But guys, what we got? Oh, we had, we already reached our goal. How do you, let me, I want to answer this question though. She says, how do you walk away from an abusive person you have empathy for? Number one is because if they are an abusive person, you walk away because they are, they are abusive, period. In any type of way, form or fashion, I don't care if it's physical, mental, emotional. If you see that a person is destroying you and it's abusive, then it's time for you to two finger swing and it's time for you to go. And it's okay, right? Because you can still have empathy for them with Without you being in their presence you can have that same love and that same compassion for them and you can wish them well through prayers you can wish them well through hey god i need you to you know take care of them that's not your job to protect them your job to protect them it's not form so that's not on you you know that's not on you and that's not your responsibility but what happens is a lot of time we take on other people's pain so it's okay you know you can walk away by simply saying this is not good for me and you exit that door you know but you have to also let yourself know that I'm doing this not to damage you not to hurt you I'm doing this because I can't allow you and what you're going through to destroy me right uh, abuse is abuse you better know it and it is that's how I feel all right I'm trying to make sure I don't okay all right guys so we're gonna get up out of here um yeah exactly you got you man listen get up out of that a fast way you got to get up out of that a fast way you know you can love them from a distance for sure love them from a distance for sure but I got to get up out of here I love you guys and I will talk to you on the next video